campers, it's movie time! Tonight's film is titled, Your Toothbrush and You. Now, kids, you can never know too much about gum disease. Oh, yes, you can. I'll have it fixed in a, uh, in a jiffy. Whoa! 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 <laughs> While, uh... While we're waiting for a repair, man, uh, why don't I tell you about the time we made our own movie about Camp Candy? When I first opened the camp, hardly any kids knew about it. This place would be truly cool if only there were more campers to play with. I totally agree. There's hardly anyone here to impress with my designer label. <laughs> or to share all these gnats and mosquitoes with. Him. Oops, <laughs> sorry, you weren't supposed to hear that. Oh, that's all right, Iggy. I feel the same way. I want lots and lots of campers to enjoy this place. But how do I let them know it's here? Advertise that every bunk has its own butler. Or maybe put up signs at all the pet shops. I've got a truly awesome notion. We'll make a movie about Camp Candy. A movie? Why not? A few camera tricks and we'll make it look like there's hundreds of happy campers here. That wouldn't be right. But I do like the idea of a movie. Maybe I'll see about running a video camera. A video camera? That's strictly for birthday parties. I'm talking about making a real movie with a real movie director. <laughs> now, Rick, who could we get to do that? My uncle, George Bixbeel. Rick's Uncle George was a real go-getter. He agreed to start shooting the very next day. Everyone pitched in to get the camp in tip-top shape. Everyone did their part. Camp Candy never looked or smelled better. Finally, it was morning. We could hardly wait for Rick's uncle to arrive. <laughs> uncle George! Ricky, baby, sweetie, long time no see. Oh, brother, how totally bogus. You're typical Hollywood phony. But then again, he might have important connections. Mm, so this is the place I'm to immortalize on film, eh? It will demand every ounce of my legendary creativity. Now hold on, Cap Candy isn't that bad. That's right, it's worse. <laughs> but never fear, with the help of my assistant director, Rick, we'll make movie magic. Okay, crew, we're ready to roll. Ready to roll. Uh, Mr. Bigspiel, you'll probably need this script. I stayed up all night writing it. <laughs> <coughs> script? George Bigspiel doesn't work from a script. I make up the story as I go along. Okay, gang, enough chatter. Let's start filming our Socko Buffalo Blockbuster. But I don't want a Socko Buffalo Blockbuster. I just want a nice little film showing what a fun place Camp Candy is. Trust me, sweetie baby. I'm a pro. I know what's best. Wait till you hear this dynamite opening. Dynamite? It's a gorgeous day. The campers are all frolicking happily. la di da di dum Suddenly, you sense danger. Tick, 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 tick. What looks like an innocent basketball is actually a bomb. Oh, this is great. I don't believe it. With superhuman speed, you get rid of the bomb. Where it harmlessly explodes! Kaboom! Well, what do you think? All right, all right, we're ready to roll. Quiet on the set! Okay, kids, we're rolling. Now start skipping and frolicking. I always feel so stupid when I frolic. Me too, but we're doing it for John and the Cap. All right, John, action! action. It's jolly along when you suddenly hear something ticky. Taking, you realize it's a bomb. You bravely pick it up, and you run to the cave with it. <sighs> Acting is hard work. No wonder they use stunt doubles. Gosh, is it lunchtime already? My stomach is growling. People, 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 what is going on? That's not in my script. He's really padding his part, isn't he? Whoa! 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 Oh, great! Now the bear is hugging the scene! I could see that Grizzly was no stranger to a basketball court. He probably played semi-pro with a farm team. A bear that can slam dunk? Oh, you're putting me on, right? Hey, would I kid a kid? I didn't know that the fake bomb we were using in our film was actually real. I think the real bomb in this story is the movie you're making. What terrific footage! What stupendous!
this action! What incredible nerve! That bomb was real! Well, of course it was, babe. Today's hip audiences can always spot a fake. I think I'm beginning to spot one myself. Are you out of your mind? That bomb could hurt someone. Wait, who is this vision of loveliness I see? Loveliness? Oh, me? Why, you're just the gorgeous leading lady type we need for the next scene. I am? <laughs> really? <laughs> Hang in there. We'll be right back with more Camp Candy here on Fox Family. This Thanksgiving, Fox... Nurse Molly's scene was even more dangerous than mine. But she didn't seem to mind. Now remember, you've been captured by a tribe of fierce pygmy Indians who set you adrift in a canoe, which floats downstream toward the waterfall. Now, John, baby, you reach down and scoop her up as she drifts by. Um, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> isn't this a bit dangerous? No, don't you worry, John. Besides being a <laughs> glamorous movie star, I'm also a registered nurse. Okay, pygmies, release the canoe with feeling. You heard him. Release the canoe. Help! Help! All right, John, that's your cue. Never fear, Nurse Molly. I'll save you. Yeah! <gasps> Nurse Molly, where is she? Did you miss me? Oh, the question is, why couldn't you miss me? Great, kids! Just sensational! And now let's try it with film in the camera. That does it, Mr. Big Spiel. I don't believe you ever directed a movie in your life. Oh, yeah? Go on, Unc. Tell him how many movies you've directed. Well, uh, uh, none, actually. None? But you told me you worked in movies for years. That's right, uh, as an usher. Then you're not a director? I am! Uh, sort of. I direct people to their seats. Which reminds me, I'd better be getting back. We got a kitty matinee in an hour. Wait! Wait, Uncle George! What about our blockbuster movie? You're the talented one in the family, Rick! You direct it! Oh. Nice move, Mr. Big Shot Hollywood producer. Thanks to you, there goes my entire movie career. Now, Camp Candy will never have a movie that'll make other kids want to come here. Come on, gang. <laughs> we all got a little carried away by this thing. It's just that Rick didn't know when to stop. No, they're right. It is my fault. I didn't think kids would want to see a corny movie about swimming and hiking and having fun with their friends. Well, it's too late now to worry about it. Right now, we'd better drive into town and buy some supplies to fix up this mess. Coming along, Rick? Nah, you better go by yourselves. Today it seems like everything I touch gets ruined. We'll sure miss you, Rick. When we returned from town, we had a little surprise waiting for us. Step right up, folks. The feature film is about to start. Feature film? What feature film? Uh, I don't want to give away the plot. Come in and see for yourselves. Have I got a surprise for you? What is it? Another Indian uprising? Yeah, Rick, we had enough surprises for one day. Listen, dudes, I felt so bad about Uncle George that I dug up some of the camp's home movies. And I turned them into a truly bodacious rock video. Great. Really, that was great. Good going. Thank you. Thank you. Rick, on behalf of the Camp Candy Campers, I'd like to present you with an Academy Award Oscar. An Oscar? For me? <laughs> 